guys welcome back once again today we are going to build a simple web api using visual studio 2022 and .NET 9 so whether you are new to apis or looking for a refresher this video will get you up and running in no time so let's let's dive in but before we do so please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so let's get straight into it. First of all, if you don't have Visual Studio installed on your system, head over to the official Visual Studio website and download the installer. Make sure you install all the necessary components needed. If you don't know what to install, check out my channel. I've got lots of videos on getting you started. But if you've already installed everything, let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio and click on Create New Project. So as you can see here now, I've got this uh, new uh, new project dialog here. So on the language side here, I've selected um, C sharp here. So on the project side here, let's scroll down and select Web API. So here we're going to use this project um, ASP.NET Core Web API. So this is a project template for creating a RESTful Web API using ASP.NET Core controllers or minimal APIs with optional support for open API and authentication. Okay, so let's select this and click next. So here we can configure our project details. Yeah. So let's give this, um, let's call it my web API dot server. Yeah, so we that's just going to be our, our API. So let's remove this and make, just make the solution my web API. Okay. So let's go ahead and click next. So here you can select what framework that is applicable to you. But for this video, we will use the .NET 9.0. Okay. And then the authentications, obviously, if you want to set up your authentications, you can use the uh, Microsoft Identity Platform, or you can use the Windows Authentication. We are not going to look too much into that, yeah. And here, obviously, you can configure for HTTPS if you want, and obviously, you can check out these additional um, configurations. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Create. So as you can see here now, we've got the project created for us. So let's have a look quickly what we've got here and the project structure. So um, the program.cs, yeah, is um, this is where the application starts and services are configured, okay? And then we've got a controllers folder. So the controllers folder um, contains API controllers that handles requests. And then we've got... Um, AppSettings.json. So the AppSettings.json um, stores configuration settings such as connection strings and whatnot. Okay, but we will have a look at it more. But first of all, as you can see uh, inside um, the controllers, we've got a um, weather forecast controller which actually comes with this um, project template. So let's go ahead and delete it. And let's go ahead and delete um, um, the weather forecast class as well. So let's delete this as well. So now we've got everything simple, nice and simple. So let's right click on the project itself and then add uh, a new class. Yeah. So Let's call this class product class, yeah? So this is what we've got here. It's a product class. So let's right click on the controllers folder and then add a new controller. So here 
we, let's go ahead and select the API and select an empty controller. Okay. So here, um, let's change this values controller to um, products products controller. So this is what we actually get here. And as we can see here now, we've got nothing inside, okay? And and the products as well, we've got nothing inside. So let's go ahead and get assisted by our GitHub Copilot chat here. Yeah? So we're going to use the GitHub Copilot chat here yeah, to help us um, create our first web API. So let's go ahead. Um, so let's type in this command. Let's create Web API using so use the the hash the hashtag here yeah. so this will actually pop up once you use the hashtag so let's select um, my web API dot server dot c proj cs proj yeah that's just um, for cs c sharp project okay so this is this is what let's create the web API using this yeah so this is the, this is what we're going to write yeah so let's enter And let's see what actually happens. So this is the this is what we get to create a basic web API for products using your existing setup. Uh, let's follow these steps. Uh, this will provide a standard CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete endpoints for um, product resources. Okay. So assuming uh, we have the product model in products, yeah. So. Let's have a look at it here. So as you can see here now, it is, there's nothing here. So let's let's go ahead and and type in this command as well. Provide um, full code, including code for the for um, product.cs. So let's put um, this. So this will actually select it. So let's go ahead and click enter. So this is what we actually get. Let's scroll down. Now we've got um very simple products um, class. So let's go ahead and pre click on preview. And accept the preview. Let's have a look here. So we've got uh, just very three. We've got three properties: ID, name, and price. Okay. So let's scroll down and see what we've got next. So we've got the products controller. Okay. So let's go. Is, let's click on the products controller, and then scroll down, and then preview. So this will actually add the code to the product controller. So as you can see here now, it's not very difficult stuff, okay? So here we've got a sample product created for us, and then there are a bunch um, <coughs> we've got uh, some requests um, handlers here. So we've got um, get all, which returns all the products, and we've got get by ID, which returns the product by ID, and then we've got create, <coughs> which actually adds product to the list, and we've got update with update a particular product with the product ID and the updated product. Then last but not least, we've got the delete, which actually deletes a product from the list using the product ID. Okay. So if we look at it here, it's not very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. This is this is what we've got here. So we, right now we've got our we've got um our Web API service running. So let's let's go ahead and create another add another project. Um, right click on the on the solution and new project. So let's cancel. Let's move this back to um, all project types here yeah, and select the console app. Okay. So we can see my web API. Dot client 
Yeah, so this will be the client for our, our web API. So here, obviously, you can add additional configuration to the, the project. We're not going to look too much into that. So let's go ahead and click on create. So as you can see here now, we've got a very simple console app here. So let me remove this. Yeah, so to, to get to do the client, let's go ahead and and then uh, um, add this command here. So let's say, uh, let's go ahead and create a client for, so let's select uh, a client for, let's select our uh, my web API dot server. So using Let's select uh, my web API dot client dot com. So we're going to create a client for the service using the my web API dot client. Okay. So let's go ahead and enter. So this is the result that we get here. Yeah? So here is a simple C sharp console client for your products web API using HTTP client. So this example demonstrates how to get all products, get a product by ID, post, uh, or create product, or put or update product, and whatnot. So this is what we get. So first, uh, let's scroll down and then update our pro uh, program.cs in our um, in our client. So let's go ahead and preview it and accept preview so this is what we actually get here so let's see there are a bunch of errors here so let's go ahead and, and correct them so let's have a look So we're going to add um, system.net.http.json. So as you can see here, we've got um, the errors disappeared. Okay. So let's have a look at this bit here. So um, the, this is our base URI here. It's actually referencing this um, port number 5000. So first of all, to get into anything here, let's run it first here. Just run the... Um, the web API server first without a client. Yeah, so as we can see here now, um, we've got the service running now, and this is the this is the, the, the endpoint. So it's running on 5148, um, port number 5148. So let's go ahead and open our, our client again and then change this bit here. 5148, yeah? 5148, yeah, before we run both um, the client and service together. But before we do so, let's go ahead and type, um, let's go here. Press um, enter to continue. Console.wiki. Okay, so let's go also go down to the last bit here. The last bit here, and then um, let's also put console. Okay. So press any, uh, press enter to exit. Okay. So let's put console.read key as well. Okay. That's all we've got here for now. So let's go ahead and right click one of the projects and then um, configure startup project. So let's put a multiple startup projects here. Uh, make sure we've got the server 
as, as a top as a top and their web client so let's start both of them and apply changes yes and okay so as you can see here now we can get both of the projects started so let's go ahead and do so So now we've got um, both the client and the server running. Let's have a look at the server. So this is the server, obviously. So let's go ahead and press enter. Yep, so as you can see here now, um, we've actually made a request for all the products and we've got the list of the products and then we've created a new product okay and then we fetched the products by an ID the price as well and then we've updated the products price as well and we've deleted the last product I mean the product with the ID 3 okay so as you can see here now <clears throat> It's not really really difficult to get yourself started but obviously if you don't know just make sure you follow this video and get yourself to this level so from here obviously you can continue to build further and achieve whatever you want to achieve so once again um, thanks for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel because um, that helps the channel a lot and I've got lots of videos coming up. So I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.